So about two months ago, my son got hand, foot, and mouth disease. Now, if you're not familiar with this delightful side effect of parenting, it's an especially biblical plague. It's highly contagious, and a rash, much like chicken pox, appears on the hands, feet, and around the mouth, sometimes in a matter of hours. And it's accompanied by flu-like symptoms, including headache, upset stomach, and fever. And boy, did my son have a fever. My kid's an easy wake, but that morning when we went in to get him, he barely raised his head. And as we changed this listless, miserable, poxed little boy out of his jammies, I could feel this kid burning with fever. So we take him downstairs, and while Anna is on the phone with the doctor, I had a thought that has stuck with me with an unpleasant frequency ever since. Had my son been born just 100 years ago, hell, 50 years ago, that morning could have been it. And while my wife dosed out medicine to make sure that wasn't the case, I thought about all the millions of parents throughout history who sat wherever they lived with their kids in their arms and prayed for a miracle that would never come. Because, see, that's the thing about prayer. It's not meant for the good times, really. It's meant for the bad ones. It's designed for when there is nothing to do. And the religious know this, right? Impossible personal difficulty? Oh, pray on it. World-shattering catastrophe? Sending prayers. Maniacs keep gunning down your babies at school? Well, I'll think and pray if it means I don't have to fucking do anything because that is what prayer has become. An excuse. An excuse to pretend we live in a time when it can't be better, not just isn't. Prayer today is a dedication to a time when we were helpless and therefore didn't have to help. But we're not. We have medications like the one I gave my son. Hell, it's grape-flavored and enough food and houses for everybody. We have technology indistinguishable from the miracles a thousand generations before us prayed for, and all we have to do is share them. But for the people who don't want to share, prayer is the excuse. Prayer is enough, so the church sign says, because if they can get you to begrudgingly admit prayer is something, then they can keep getting away with nothing, and more often than not, less than nothing. So, Today, as I reflect on that moment, sitting with my son in my arms, waiting for that medicine to be poured and that doctor to be called, I have not a prayer, but a hope. I hope that when my children's children listen to this, they're just as horrified listening to me as I am thinking about parents who came before me. I hope they get teary and emotional and think about just how hard it must have been to be us. And I hope they feel that way because of all the people who stopped praying and did something.